Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr., back here with Clever News. And Harry Styles recently made headlines for being the first solo male to appear on Vogue magazine, but his fashion-forward style is being heavily criticized for lacking a, quote, manly touch. Let's break it down. We stan our king, Harry Styles, for constantly breaking boundaries and shattering societal norms, as he's been known to advocate for what should be basic human rights and the choice to express ourselves as freely as we'd like. In case you missed it, Harry made headlines last week after being the first solo male figure to grace the cover of Vogue magazine's December 2020 issue, but it was his choice of fashion that got the people talking. Vogue shared many different shots of this month's cover star to social media, where he posed in outfits including dresses and shirts that are typically targeted towards women. As many fans know, this isn't the first time that Harry has fashioned women's clothing or accessories as seen by his previous red carpet looks, but this cover in particular where he donned a Gucci lace trimmed gown and tuxedo jacket was especially monumental. And while speaking with Vogue about his fashion fluidity, he proudly stated, quote, as a kid, I definitely liked fancy dress. I was really young and I wore tights for a play. I remember it was crazy to me that I was wearing a pair of tights and that was maybe where it all kicked off. He credited many musical icons, including Prince, David Bowie, El Elvis Presley, Freddie Mercury, and Elton John with feeling confident and wearing more flamboyant pieces and even explained that by categorizing clothing with men and women labels, you're really only affecting your own joy. While many fans praised him upon first glance of the upcoming spread, others didn't quite seem to agree with Harry's stance on gender norms. Notorious political figure and pro-Trump activist Candace Owens took to Twitter on Saturday morning to share some harsh thoughts on Harry's cover, claiming that society would not be able to thrive without strong men. She wrote, there is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children is not a coincidence. It's an outright attack. Bring back manly men. This tweet caused the internet to erupt into a fiery feud between two very opposing sides as people began chiming in with their thoughts on the matter. On one hand, there were some people who agreed with Candace, like one person who said, she's not wrong, someone needs to pull his man card. Another user tweeted, and she's right, men who wear dresses need to grow a pair. This person also had an interesting stance in claiming that Harry has been known to queer bait, but despite that, they said, quote, Candace needs to mind straight people's business. But aside from the usual riffraff, thousands of other fans began defending not just Harry, but men in general who expressed themselves with a touch of femininity. One user pointed out that, quote, men who wear dresses look amazing, if I say so myself. Did you know that dresses were actually worn by everyone, including men, before pants were invented? This user posed a solid argument about women's choice in fashion, adding, so Harry Styles wearing a dress, which hurts absolutely no one, while you wear pantsuits regularly, Maybe we need to bring feminine women back too? Who cares what people choose to wear if it makes them happy and they're comfortable? Another person wrote, she's just mad Harry looks hotter with feminine clothing than her husband does with more masculine clothing. Anyways, here's Harry as a ballerina while also being the most attractive man ever. Even actress Olivia Wilde, who is currently directing the upcoming film Don't Worry Darling, in which Harry stars in, stood up for him with a short and sweet response to Candace writing, you're pathetic. And although Harry has yet to respond to the backlash, it seems his stance on wearing clothing targeted toward women likely won't change all because of a few haters, which is one of the many reasons why we adore him. But for even more details on Harry's Vogue interview and his thoughts on wearing dresses, click right over here for another clever video. And then let us know your thoughts on Candace's statements down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.